Hi everyone! So today I have this new collection that Spellbinders has brought to their site. It is the Fresh Picked Collection. Um, just beautiful flowers. If you recall, I think a couple months ago there was a large die, possibly the small die, I don't remember which one of the month that was very similar to this kind of look. So um, this is just a continuation of that, a little, you know, sneak peek, I suppose, in the um, other monthly club kit. But today I'll be checking this out. So again, it's the Fresh Pick Collection. I have uh, three of the floral sets. I believe there are four. I have the sentiments and I also have the embossing folder to share with you guys. Um, there are four floral dies, like die sets. Um, and there's also a bundle, so um, if you want all the dyes, it doesn't come with the embossing folder, but it is all the sentiments and the four different floral kind of um, looks. So uh, these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own, and any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased item sales links. So of course, excuse me. So yeah, so I'll have in the description box the uh, link to the collection itself, and then to um, a generic link that just goes to everything that Spellbinders brought out in January. There's quite a few or there are quite a few different collections super cute um yeah so let's just get started so what you're seeing here on this top part and hopefully you can see like this flower kind of you know goes with this set here you have your flowers you have your greenery um again they can be arranged in ways that make like a kind of like a vignette I guess like a look but you can also just use them however you want so I have samples your um Sets will arrive on carriers with inspo. Uh, there's tons of inspo on the actual product links, like on the actual pages. And a lot of times those images are cards or projects that were done by the design team. And sometimes, sometimes my pictures are in there too. I do not claim to be a photographer. My pictures are the worst. <laughs> so if they come out pretty well, sometimes they'll have my images there too. So uh, I really appreciate that. That's a lot of fun to see my own. I'm like, oh, hey, there's mine, you know. But um, I'm trying. Anyway, this first one's called Buttercups. Really cute. I love the individual petals here. I mean, you can play that up lots of different ways, right? These little guys here. Um, but they are meant to, like, echo these areas. You have your flower centers, and then you have, you know, your layering flowers and things. Again, your inspo sheet, your carrier sheet, should I say, will have lots of images for you to see kind of how they're meant to be arranged or put together. Um, these sentiments. I love the sentiments. When I was sitting them on here, I was like, oh, that's so cute. So we have thanks, and they're a good size. Hopefully you can kind of see. Let me see if I can give you a quick measure. I would say they're meant to be, I guess, like three quarters of an inch. I mean, sometimes a lot, you know, taller than an inch, just, you know, when something dips down like this, but like this, the, the K in this one isn't as dippy as that one there. So, like, it's not as deep, but maybe three quarters, I would say ish. Let's say maybe an inch, and some of them, like this one's bigger, it just says hi, but to me, it's bigger than these other guys, right? So, we have thanks. I just put them on here, they don't make sense right now, but you obviously mix and match them. You. Bloom, uh, make, hello, smile, for, hi, and oh, a wish. How cute is that? So the uh, or just a by itself, and then wish, and I suppose the a by itself can make sense of some of these other things if you wanted to do that, right? So you have those. Um, and then we have daffodils down here. Oopsie. So this area right here is the daffodils. I mean, you can see hopefully that they're pretty good size. I mean, I didn't measure these other ones for you guys, but like, you know, checking this guy out, he's like three and three quarters tall. Um, and then this daffodil, like this base piece for it, is also about three and three quarters, maybe a little taller. And the flower itself is really nice and big, so that one's like two inches deep and almost, well, more than three inches across. So, you know, that gives you an idea. So you have some different layers, some that are facing different ways. You have your center. So this one's going to be actually pretty quick to put together. You have some accent pieces if you want for this that, you know, obviously goes like here or whatever. And then, um, it just looks like it'll come together really quickly and really easily. Um, especially this one because it's like facing forward, so you're just going to layer some of these pieces up. Um, and then this over here, which is probably the one I'll use today, has um, all these different pieces here, is the anemones. And, I mean, how pretty are these? Look how long this stem is. How pretty that will be on a card. Of course, you can make like a grouping, maybe just one flower or however. But you have different layers. These are your accent layers. These are the base layers, I would say. Then you have accent centers, and then you have even more for that too. So, um, really lovely. It's going to be really pretty. And on this one, I mean, the biggest anemone here is almost two inches deep, I would say. The flower just by itself, and like two and a quarter, a little bit bigger than two and a quarter wide. So, hopefully, that gives you some idea. 
of the scope on that. And then we have um, the embossing folder. The other die set that I don't have here um, is called Berries, and it's just little berries. Like they look kind of more like the little bells that they do so well at Spellbinders, like just cute. And then um, obviously greenery and things like that. So mixing and matching, all that kind of stuff with those. And this is the uh, embossing folder that goes along with this collection. It is a standard embossing folder. It's not 3D, and it's called Columns embossing folder so there you go so um, it has uh, as it says like these columns these long pieces with like a little lattice very cute very subdued and nice for the background for you know your collection here I would um, say in my mind I was like oh we should do some that are just all white but I know there's a lot of layers so if we're gonna do the layers we might as well have colors right so I'll probably still do a white background because that's what I enjoy doing so I'm going to get a piece of cardstock that is already cut down to probably four and eighth by five and three eighths and um, and then this is my standard A2 size card base which is five and a half by eight and a half and score to four and a quarter and I will be right back. So our card base I'm just going to simply run this through and just leave it white and just pristine in the background and let me see as far as the design I'm going to go this way I think I'll make my card uh, portrait so I'm just kind of splitting the difference like what completes this, completes this, completes this, and then there's going to be a little bit of column at the bottom and at the top, so I'm just kind of eyeballing where that should hit, just to make it a little more even, you know, and maybe a little more this way, even, there we go, and I think that it's good. So I'm just going to run that through, and I'll be right back. I'm using a Platinum 6, since this is a standard embossing folder, it's just a cutting plate and the old school platform. If you're using the new universal system, just follow what it says, but I believe on that one it's also just a cutting plate. And uh, Actually, you know I don't do it often enough to just name it off the top of my head. Let me read it for you. <laughs> um, right here. So it is the cutting plate, and then it's both platforms, B and A. Okay, so I wasn't recalling that part. Uh, so there you go. And let's close this guy up. So nice, very pretty. And I'm just going to simply glue that down. Now, and this is what it looks like on this side. That's what it looks like on the deboss side, which is also very nice. Hmm. You know what? Let's go deboss. Why not? So I'm just going to glue this guy down. And whenever I do that, plenty of glue because obviously I have all these ridges and recesses and everything else. So you want to make sure you're getting a good amount of glue on there for that. Okay, I'll hold that down and then when I come back we'll talk about cutting our greenery and our flowers and all that good stuff. So that's a little bit of weight on top of that. So we have our card base ready to go. Um, so I recently showed you that uh, Spellbinders have come out with some new glitter cardstock with the spring tone assortment. So I think we can make our flowers with this. Now I'm not looking at what anemones normally look like or are normally colored. I just think this is pretty. So I don't need both sheets of, there's two sheets of each color. I just need one. And I think we'll go with the pink and the peach so we have different layers. And maybe the centers of the flowers will be, you know, something else, um, clearly. But let's see. I think the big background, like the main flower, I'll do with the dark color, the darker pink, which I believe is dark pink. <laughs> and then this one's called light pink. And then we have um, pale green. Uh, so with the pale green, you know, as I'm looking at these guys, one goes one way, one goes the other way. Obviously you see that. And then I want a tall one somewhere. Well, we have this guy. We also have the really tall one. Of course you can mix and match all these guys. Hmm. I'm going to use this one just to bring it down a little bit. So these three will be my greenery. And then uh, the accent piece, this guy, I'll get, I'll get from the light pink as we know it now. Uh, let's talk about the centers in just a minute. So let's get this part cut out and then I'll run my centers through. So I'll be right back. We have our beautiful greenery, our flowers. Let's check these guys out. Oh my gosh. And look at the detail that's in there. Hopefully you can see it with the glitter paper. You can see all that. And it'd be something that is so pretty. I was thinking about doing a little kind of watercolory spray kind of background, you know, with the new spray bottle, but I really like the color just, or the simplicity of just that stark white. So we have that. And let's see these guys. I'm trying to think of what I want to put in the center, because these are obviously, you know, pretty out there on their own. <laughs> um, we have that guy. 
do I want to go with like a gold center or just kind of tone it down a little bit, sorry, with um, maybe just yellow, like a yellow paper or, you know, even a dark color. That'd be pretty. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh gosh, you guys. As soon as I said that, I was like, I know, I don't know like everything about anemones, but I was like, don't they have a really dark center is what I popped into my head. So I think what we'll do is okay and i was gonna say they even have a little frill they did such a good job because i was gonna go ahead and do white behind here or like a gray or like a different kind of black or you know dark brown so i think i'll cut these out in white so we have that and then ah i don't know um let's go ahead and cut this layer out in black and then this one like if i can find something that really just coordinates that like grayish darkish brown almost black maybe shiny black I don't know um, that's what I'll do oh yes okay that'll work I'll be right back so fun. as I was looking um, you know I always have white paper just laying around but uh, I spotted this silvery kind of vellum that I used the other day and I still had some you know at the very top of my little scrap stack here so I'm using that for the outer portion because um, if you look at anemones a little closer you'll see that it's kind of like a something around the very edge in the center that looks more delicate so I thought that'd be really fun instead of just white paper and then we have our centers and then I have shiny black paper for that so let me see if these line up perfectly is that what happens yes so these guys are gonna line up perfectly that one with that one this one with this one clearly that one with that one um, I think I'm gonna put glue on the back of my hand because there's a lot of little holes so we just get this guy do the same thing for the other ones. I'm just using the larger one so you can maybe see it a little better. Really want to hold that down. And then these don't look like they're perfectly aligned as far as like the edge, the way it looks on this one and this one. So I'm just going to pop it in the center. And that's what I'll do for all of them, okay, for the centers of the flowers. And when I come back, we'll put it together and then we'll pop on a sentiment and we will have a beautiful card. Okay, I'll be right back. So there are my centers. I love these colors already and they're just near each other. They're not even put together yet. <laughs> love the way that looks. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I think I'll put the flowers together. Now you can definitely put some uh, dimension, you know, between the layers. I was just going to stick them down flat, but now I'm thinking, let me see. I'm going to have that guy in front like this. On the back like that. Hmm. Now it's really flat at the top, so I wasn't curious if their you know, intention was for it to be on the top or behind. What do you think? Let me look at a picture of an anemone again, because that's what I did. I pulled it up just to make sure my hunch about the black center was correct, and I'll be right back. It's so hard to tell. Nobody wants to show me a picture of an anemone on the side, but this one shows like a stem goes right to the flower, you know? So I think what I'll do is I'll have that little green behind. I mean, look how pretty that is. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, all the images I'm seeing are not, not quite what I'm needing. So, okay. Um... Then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and glue these down and then I'll probably put some dimension behind them. So for right now, I'm just putting a little glue there. Sorry, my way. Top third of the uh, frame here. Oh, that is so pretty. And now I haven't forgotten my center. I just kind of wanted to see what I was doing with this. Oh, and actually these things can even be embedded in between if you like that look. I'm just going to put it right behind. And then take this guy and just put a little glue down towards the bottom. I'm going to pop it in here. I just kind of want to see where I was. Oh, I love that so much. There. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with the little guys. So the exact same thing you saw me do right now. Just kind of sandwich it first just to have an idea. The um, lines in here are actually cut through, so glue is coming out a little bit on there. Obviously, my glue dries clear, so I'm not worried about it. Just wanted to let you know in case you have a different glue and you don't really want it to show everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on this this time so I can see a little better where I'm putting it. And yeah, so I'll just finish these two up just the same way. Just this here. And then uh, that little center kind of tucked in. And I'll do the little guy the same way. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So let's bring this back over and honestly it keeps wanting to pop up so I'm going to try and tape this down for a minute just so I can kind of build up my card there. Um, 
Yeah, so I'll try to use minimal of that greenery just to make it look a little more lifelike, but obviously this is art imitating life, so um, that's fine. It's whatever you want. Uh, let me put this on here. I love those colors though. It's so fresh. Hopefully that's not anywhere near <laughs> what I was going to be doing. Uh, let's say we have that guy there. So I am going to pop it on here just a little more like this. And then we have this guy. Ooh, okay. And then we have this little guy. And maybe I need to bring these down. And this guy needs to be a little more in, so it's not... Actually, I think this one should go over here. Right, something like that. And then we'll have to bring this guy in a little more. Okay. Just trying to see where I want to glue these flowers, like... As far as how far down on this. This is glitter paper, so it does take a little bit longer to dry. I'm not gluing it down to my card base yet. I'm just trying to get the card... the, um flower and it's uh, greenery together. It's going to be something like that on this guy. Tuck him in somewhere there. He'll be okay. Okay, and this guy's the one that's got me a little worried. Uh, oh yeah, he's good. Okay. So I <laughs> tuck him in a little more, which again is kind of what I was wanting to do anyway, just to make it look a little more lifelike and he's looking that way and I think that's okay all right so I'm gonna let that set up just for a little bit because like I said it's a glitter paper and I think I'm gonna do a thanks and I think I'm gonna do it in black you guys just nice and bold so just run this through some black paper and I'll be right back right, that came out so well all right so I don't know why I want to go with this guy first I feel like so I'm gonna try to stick this down up here uh, I can put dimensionals behind there they're pretty dimensional just the way they are but um, you know whatever it is that you want to do and a little bit here and there. And let's see, just about there. I think I'll stick down the opposite one on the left, and then, then I'll put this one on the top, and if it has to cover up some of the leaves, that'll be cute. He'll be on top. So I'll put this guy next. And in here. Give him as much room without falling completely off my card. <laughs> there we go. Oh, those are so pretty, you guys. And I'm just looking at the whole collection. It's going to be very easy to put a card together very quickly. Uh, I know I was making selections and colors and kind of arranging it with you guys, but um, it came together pretty quick. Oh, there you go. See? It doesn't have to overlap at all, but I mean, you can definitely overlap them. Do whatever you want with that greenery. All right, and then I have my thanks. We can drop shadow it. I mean, I could have used this shiny black also, but I just thought it'd be cute just to be kind of something like that. I do want it a little more substantial, so I'm gonna do is run it through one more time. This is some really heavyweight black paper, and then I'm gonna glue them together and then pop it on. That way I'm not using dimensionals, but we're just getting a little bit of depth. Sorry if I'm shaking my camera from this guy. Let's put that away. We're done with this. We're done with this. Yeah. And honestly, I can probably just go right on here. A lot of times what I do is I put the glue again in the back of my hand and then dip, dip, dip. But this one is a very nice, sizable wording. So and I'm going to take that and just kind of zhuzh the glue so it gets on all the surfaces there. I mean, it is really, really nice size. And... Let's go ahead and stick this guy down. Three layers looks lovely, obviously four. Every layer you add will make it that much higher, but just doing that honestly brought it up, elevated it. So I'm gonna hold that down. I think it's pretty straight. And of course I'm eyeballing this, as always. Um, you know, you have the geometric pattern underneath that I can definitely use to help me see if I'm in the right spot. So I'm gonna hold that down and I'll be right back. Let's get rid of these guys. <laughs> You guys, this is so pretty, clean, pristine. I love the look. I mean, look how quickly those came together with the layers. And again, the center, you don't have to do all the layers if you want to do something faster or less layers, whatever it is you're looking to do for that day. This looks gorgeous. Now, I happened to glance over and I realized I have these clear dimensional dots that I wanted to try out. And so I'm going to pop some of these guys on here. But I mean, honestly, the card is a knockout just the way it is. But we can come in here and maybe add 
some little dots the way I do like that one and then a couple near it that are just kind of fun and a little wonky there's some there maybe I'll add some down in here I don't know uh, put them on the petals you know I mean however you want to play those up so maybe then there and one there just adding them here and there I'll probably do another little cluster of them maybe in here I don't know just to bring in a third set but really really gorgeous really fun thanks for watching guys thank you so much spellbinders for designs for review I'll have images coming up I'll have the links in the description box and I will see you all at the next one bye now